Hey everybody, welcome back to 15 Good Minutes. It's your guy, Coach B. As always, I'm here with the A-Team. Freddie, how you doing today, man? Pretty good. How you and JR doing? I'm good. What's up, JR? I'm doing good, man. How's everybody's holiday? Uh, yeah, that's kind of where I was going to go to, man. You know, um, kind of kind of uh, relaxing uh, over here. We we didn't do a lot. Um, I don't even remember what time I, I woke up that particular day on, on Christmas Day because, you know, I've been, I've been staying up late on the PlayStation and watching movies and just enjoying the downtime. So what about you, man? How, how was your Christmas? How was it for the family? Oh, Christmas was good. I, you know, we stayed home, you know, and made sure we got the gifts out, but everything was good, man. And I, I like you, I, I, I slept late, uh, cause we knew we weren't having any company. It was just going to be us at home. We went out the next day and had a, uh, had brunch with, with family members and that's it. And we, we just went to a, to a house, to one of the family members house. Everybody brought stuff, you know, we made waffles and sausage eggs and quiche and all that kind of stuff. And that, that was basically it for the day. You know, came home, got myself ready for work today. That was it. Sweet, sweet. Freddie, what was uh, what was Christmas like over in your household in Texas, buddy? It was quiet. The wife had to work. Um, I watched, went to the gym myself that morning, came back, watched a little, you know, football, um, lost in fantasy football games. It could have put me in the money round, the championship round, if you will, so... <laughs> It was a bad fantasy season for me, man. You know what my biggest win was in your league? What's that? Beating Biggie twice. I don't beat nobody else. <laughs> it's a personal thing. And Freddie knows why. It goes back about 10 years. But two of my W's came against 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 him, and I felt really good, even though I didn't get in the playoffs this year. So all, all wasn't lost on fantasy over here, you know? Well, you do know, even though you and I, neither one of us made the, the money round, you do know we play each other this week. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I All do for nothing, but none it's, of it's for nothing, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's the way that you end the season. That's the way it ought to be. Um, we really don't have a lot today. Um, I'm going to expand on what the question of the week is, which comes from JR in a little bit. But what I wanted to get from you guys first was um, this last weekend of the, of the year. Um, what kind of what kind of memories do you have for 2022? I'll start with you, Freddie. And it can be anything, you know, personal, don't have to be sports related. But when you think about the year that's ending, um, what are your thoughts on it? It's a very interesting year. And just from a personal standpoint and just in the world, you know, um, you know, bought my house here in Texas, you know, and everything like that. Um, then if you go into um the people that we lost this year, um, we lost DMX, one of my favorite artists. We lost Biz Marquis. We lost um, Shock G. You know, you lost all those rock, Black Rob, all in a matter of months of each other. Um, then you look at it from the political arena, um, um, Republicans flipping the house. And, you know, and then the, you know, the January 6th committee, then you have the crisis at the border. You know, it's just, you know, interest rate going up, inflation and all that stuff. Even if you look at it from a sports world perspective, you know, Rams won. You know, they're stinking it up now. Um, the Yankees were looking like they were going to go all the way. They bowed out. You have, you know, Georgia looking to repeat in the college football playoffs. Um, Michigan beat Ohio State for, for the second time in a row, you know, beat back them. to back. So it's so many different things, so many different highs and lows on so many different through so many different spectrums. JR, how was 2022 for you, man? And uh, what 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 stands out for you, man? Okay, first of all, let me just say, Freddie, mm -hmm. San Diego and the Dodgers, they both got bounced out. So just not put it on the Yanks, bro. Come on now. <laughs> for no. me. But did, did we not? In I know, July. I know. In, in July. I know. Did so why are you gonna put us on this? Why are you gonna put us on the spotlight? Why are you gonna I, do that? I, I I bet heavily, literally, on them to win and didn't. I'm just exactly. saying that's money gone. Yeah, oh, my guys. True. Well, you know, uh, for me, uh, I basically the same points as Freddie as far as the politics are concerned, uh, interest rates. Uh, you know. That's a whole nother thing, man. Because I, you know, it does it only bothers a few people. The few people are the people like working class, you know, folks. But uh, I think my 
biggest memories this year is going to be my year started out great. Uh, you know, just getting certain things done around the house. And then it got better in May as exactly as y'all know, when I got, uh, when I had my kidney transplant, that was like unexpected. Now the only downside to that was it took me out of the year for almost about five months, you know? So, uh, I think that's that's my biggest my biggest thing this year is that uh you know I got this transplant and it still continues that I have to do certain things to make sure I get to to the right spot you know but uh other than that I think at the end of the year I'm going to still try to finish up you know getting my office together I brought the chair in you ain't see me online because I ain't bring the game in and I wasn't going back in the living room to go like this <laughs> what he's talking about y'all is I was I was giving him the blues before we went on air because, you know, he kind of brought me in like he he was a big time gamer some time ago. And then he kind of fell off, you know, for a bit. But then he came back this year and he sent me a text. and It was something like, yo, we need to get in here. Give me a night where we can go a good four hours strong. And I'm like, whoa, that's the 2016 JR talking. I'm like, I'm in. So we got in. We started redeveloping, getting our shooting skills down and whatever. And then the last two weeks, I'd be like. Hello, hello, anybody? And he, and he in there, so I'm thinking, oh damn, he brought me in, and and I saw, you know, I think we talked about it last week. He got the gaming chair built, but he ain't been online since he got the chair built. So I'm I'm still out there waiting on you, brother. Be looking for you. When oh you, when yeah, you I'm there. I'm gonna when we get offline today, I'm gonna go ahead and and make this move with that because my wife would be very happy if I moved it anyway. <laughs> so and then I can come in my office and just close the door and you know be online. So. Uh, for me, 22 was 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 better than 21. Probably the case for most people. Uh, traveled more. Um, went to San Diego. Went to Vegas, Chicago, and um, I think the the biggest trip this year for me was um, me and me and the, the golf guys. We got back to Legends, which is in South Carolina. We hadn't been for I want to say three years. Um, and while none of us are really good golfers, we just have a great time when we go, just kind of hanging out with the fellas and stuff. And it was good to, to do that again. Um, because it, it had just, you know, been a while. Um, I, I finished, uh, shooting. I've been shooting a lot of last couple of years. I've been shooting pictures for a book that I'm writing, um, that gets published, um, in 23. So I finished shooting for that. That was, that was pretty big. Um, all, all in all, I think in photography, I experienced some significant growth this year. So that was kind of cool because it's it's something that I'm passionate about and I have a lot of fun with it. And I think everybody should should find that one or two things. Um, I did. I reduced the number of sports cards. Yeah, I was talking about that. Um, you know, got rid of the ones that don't need anymore. But I've been increasing my um, if y'all can see this, but my pen collection is growing. And this is a Darth Vader special, you know, um. So I've been spending some time, you know, uh, on pens and stuff and just kind of um, getting back into some things that we didn't do much at all in 20 and just started doing in 21. So so with that, John, let me throw it back over at you. Um, give me something that's significant or big for you in 23. So I'm not talking about a a resolution. You know, I'm not a big resolution guy. No, give, me, give me a no, goal I, I or something think, that's big for you in 23. Yeah, something big for me in, in 23 would be travel with me and the wife getting out because we've been still since, you know, since COVID started till after my kidney, we've still been stuck in. But doing some traveling somewhere, uh, even, it doesn't have to be exotic places. Just right. get out and just uh, see different things in different places. Uh, that and continuing to to remodel how the house. Freddie, what's uh, what's big for you in 2023, man? What, what's, what, what, what would be uh, something that you want to, start tackling or accomplish uh, this year coming up? Biggest thing, uh, what I would want say I would want to accomplish this year is being more of a, how can, I'm trying to figure out how to put it. Um, understanding people more. Understanding people in, in all facets of life, of my life, that is, more. Uh, understanding them more so I know how to deal with them better, whether it be personally or professionally or, or, or you know, from a recreational standpoint, just just understanding people more, because I think that is is definitely one of the one of the problems that we have. I think you hit a key point, man. Um, 
people don't listen to comprehend anymore. 23, like I said, I don't do a lot of resolutions, but some key things for me would be um, there's one trip in particular, like uh, we're, we're going back to Sandals in, in May. So a buddy of mine, um, LB is celebrating his 60th birthday and wow, he's going to do it in Exuma in the Bahamas. And it's, it's a double win for me, one to be able to go and help, help him usher in 60. But uh, we haven't been to Sandals JR since Missy's wedding. And um, there's just something about it. It's it's a second home for me. And I just like it. I, I just like relaxing there. You know, it's I, I feel like no matter which country I'm in at a Sandals, it's, you know, I'm taking care of the same way. So I'm really looking forward to that trip. And oddly enough, I mean, I'm taking a trip prior to that with, with some of the guys to, to Vegas for golf. And that'll be fun. You know, the guys doing whatever. But the trip that I'm looking forward to in 23 is is in May at Sandals. Um, second thing I'm kind of looking forward to, I, I don't know if it should really be me or not, but, you know, Dee's retiring, right? And uh, January is her last month. So I'm kind of looking forward to see what she does after that buffer period, meaning the buffer period to me is I suspect she's going to do nothing for, I don't know, a month, six weeks or whatever. Um, but I know that gets old after a while, you know, that you have to do something. So I'm curious to see, because she's the first one of the two of us to retire, um, what that means for her and what she ends up taking on and what she does differently now that she doesn't have to, you know, teach after 35 years. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and, you know, this is a year that I'm supposed to start restoring her Mustang. So she's got a 65 Mustang that her dad left her that, that's in the garage. We've had it for a couple of years and COVID kind of stopped the process. So I'm going to start doing that um, in, in 2023 and, and hopefully, you know, um, you know, get to the point where you know, now that she's retired, she'll be able to take her Mustang, you know, for, for a drive down route one or something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to turn it over to JR. He had a great question on the chat wire today. Um, give us a little background on what that question is, JR. Uh, that, the question has to do with trash talking in the NBA. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't know if you can ever stop it, but uh, I, I wonder, I, I think to myself, is it good for the game? Is, does, is there anything positive that comes from it? Uh, does it lead to, I think, more often than not, uh, part of fouls, maybe, maybe some sort of physical altercation? And I wonder why the NBA hasn't done anything. Frey, when you look at Charles' question of the week, you got any thoughts on on it? Is it happening a lot? <clears throat> you see it. You see it a lot in NBA games, and if so, do you think it's out of control? I honestly don't. And the reason why I say that is, right, it, it occurs in anything that you do competitively, right? Whether it's playing cards, playing dominoes, you know. Fantasy you know, football. It, 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 the, difference, yeah, but, but, the difference is they're, they're, not, they're not drinking while they're doing it, right? Let us know. Is, is trash talking in the NBA out of control? Should the officials do more um, to penalize uh, trash talking? More like a you know, like like taunting in the in in the NFL. Again, thanks everybody for rocking with us. I think this was a great show. Just wanted to kind of give you guys some insights, you know, into some things that we've um, experienced ourselves personally and what we've seen in 2022. Some things that each of the three of us is going to try to work on in 2023, and, and hope you guys do the same. Um, Freddie, anything before before we break out for our audience? Um, wishing everyone a, a safe uh, New Year. If you're gonna go out. Please don't drink and drive and or or, you know, and just enjoy yourselves. Same here. You know, you guys, uh, it's been a good year and uh, hopefully next year will be even better. Everybody be safe for the new year and have a happy new year. All right. All right. right. I'm telling you right now, I, I can't. I don't I don't know. I'd have to ask. Dee. I don't know. Last time we went out. I don't even know if she's awake at midnight. She used to be. She might. She might be. But we're I home. But I, I tell you I'm this. Same train, bro. I'm on that. I'd be. Um, I got all my ingredients already for my black eyed peas. I make a really, really, really good um, black eyed peas. It's going to go over some brown rice. That's a tradition here. Uh, we believe in black eyed peas on uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So whatever we're having, you know what that side dish is going to be. It's going to be in there. So I would say, uh, just, just to piggyback on the guys, um, wish all you guys, you know, um, bless, uh, really, really blessed. 2023 uh the best of health and some prosperity go out and get some prosperity and have a great 2023 and we will see you guys next week <laughs>